It's a white elephant. That's what a Port Hope homeowner recently told me about his property that is being subject to an Ontario government land grab under the guise of Highway 401 lane improvement initiatives. But when will the land grab actually take place and just how much of the homeowner's property will be acquired by the Ontario government? Well, the real estate liaison says that he has those answers and yet no one seems to want to share them publicly. Mary Ugolini here with Rebel News and recently I covered the story of a Port Hope husband and wife whose retirement has been miserable thanks to the continuing encroachment of their property by 401 lane widening initiatives by the Ontario government's Ministry of Transportation. The elderly couple, Gary and Diane Shepard, are set to have their property acquired for the second time in less than 20 years as part of a $25 billion highway expansion and rehabilitation project by the provincial government. The initiative will see several bridges all along the Easterly 401 corridor in Port Hope, Ontario reinvigorated while widening the existing six lanes of highway into 10 lanes by the year 2050. But the Shepherds already live dangerously close to Highway 401, which is one of Canada's busiest and fastest moving highways. And it's set to move a mere 14 meters from their back door. They claim to have been treated poorly by the realtor liaison acting on behalf of the provincial government, who they say makes demands of them and requires access to their property, but of course won't answer any of their questions or offer any form of compensation for their time or their property. And it's not their first time being in this situation. In 2003, a piece of their property was acquired by, yet again, a 401 lane widening initiative, and they were never compensated for that encroachment. This obviously leaves them with a bad taste in their mouth and doubtful that they will be adequately reimbursed this time either. I had previously reached out to that real estate officer assigned to their file. His name is Tyler Andrus, and he works for the Ontario Ministry of Transportation. I asked very straightforward questions like, when is construction set to begin? Is there a criteria that establishes safe living distances from major roadways? And how and when will affected homeowners receive compensation, etc., etc.? When I didn't receive a response, I decided to call Andrus directly to follow up. And get this, he told me he had the answers to my questions, but he couldn't answer them because of his gatekeeping higher-ups. Have a listen for yourself. Oh, hey, Tyler. This is Tamara Ugolini from Rebel News calling. I had a few questions for you about the 401 extension that's to be taking place in Port Hope, Ontario. Yeah, hey, Tamara. I did get your email. Um, I was asked just not to respond. The reason being that all made a request. I'm not really authorized to uh, respond to questions. Um, so I know internally that they, I said for Gmail on, so it didn't go unnoticed. And um, I was instructed not to respond just because I'm not authorized to do it. Um, what I would say, um, and I, I know you gave me a deadline yesterday, um, but I believe they were, it had gone all the way to the top, your email, and they were working on um, getting something back. I'm not sure where that is, but I'm certainly happy to follow up about it and see if um, um, I can get you an answer uh, to what you're looking for, for sure. Do you but have any being, idea when when you may have some of these answers or who will? Could I get you, uh, that came up, no caller ID. I, if I get your number, um, I can certainly ask and I, I will call you back with something or somebody will for sure what's the number Tom? i mean e i'm happy to receive it via email but phone works as well um right. yeah there's just a couple obviously some things here that weren't very clear and it and i'm not sure if if and when they become more clear um i guess when is when is construction even supposed to begin on this passage <laughs> I want to give the answers. I'm afraid to get in trouble. I don't want to step on toes and I don't want to. I've just been instructed not to talk about it. I have. Uh, let me get back to you. Can I? Um, I'm going to talk to uh, my boss and see what I can do about information for you. Um, I think it's good to have it out there. Um, 
but let me see what I can do for it. And so naturally, I reached out to Andres once again via email to follow up and see if he had garnered an approved bureaucratic response. Of course, he simply directed me now to the media line for the Ministry of Transportation. And so it goes, I forwarded all of my questions from roughly two and a half weeks earlier and gave a new deadline, which sadly they did not meet. Basically, the government land snatchers can come in, demand unlimited access to your property whenever they want and demand that you acquiesce to their requirements. But the moment that you start asking reasonable and rational questions, there is this red tape riddled gatekeeping bureaucracy to try to navigate through, whose salaries, by the way, you pay for. For Rebel News, I'm Tamara Ugolini. This reoccurring lack of transparency with all levels of government is exactly why we launched a petition and email blast campaign at showusthetruth.com. At that special website, you can see how the government is notorious for keeping the public in the dark about their own conduct. And also you can demand an investigation into taxpayer funded shadowy consultancy firms like McKinsey and Company. A founding principle of democratic society is transparency. Challenge the government to uphold it at showusthetruth.com.